Hi everyone and welcome back to another Christmas card video. Today I'm going to combine many different techniques to create a really fun card. So I'm starting out with die cutting. So I have a little circle there and I'm going to cut out a window out of this panel. And I'm not going for a shaker card by the way. So I'm going to move on and do some stenciling. This is a lovely stencil by my favorite things. I'm going to secure it down with my purple tape at the back and you can see that at the back I do have some designs there on uh, my panel. I do use all the scrap papers that I have so no one will ever know what's at the back. Now at the front I'm going to use this Ising Diamond 24 carats glitter paste. It is the gold one and it is just stunning. I'm going to apply it with my spatula all over the place. I did a review on these pastes last week, so you can uh, watch that video if you haven't. I absolutely love these pastes for two reasons. First of all, they are super shiny. And the second one is uh, the product that is inside that pouch never dries on you. I have pastes from last year and they are uh, as brand new. The disadvantage of this pouch is that you cannot put paste back in. So be frugal like I was. And you see I have almost no excess paste on my spatula. I'm going to leave the stencil and I will let this background dry. Drying time depends uh, of course on how thick you apply the paste. I have a very uh, thin layer here so it dried out in less than 10 minutes as I was preparing the rest of my focal points. And now it's time to do some stamping. This uh, stamp set is called Sassy Skater and the little girl is from the Pure Innocence collection by my favorite things. I'm going to stamp her a couple of times to get a good impression and for that I'm using Extreme Black Ink by my favorite things which is uh, alcohol marker friendly. So I'm going to go ahead and color everything with my alcohol markers and I'm uh, working with a traditional Christmas color combo today. So uh, greens and reds. I always do my coloring quite uh, simply and uh, quickly as I don't like to spend too much time on uh, coloring images. I would say that I rather play with the design and how I put things together on a card than uh, coloring images for hours. So I always do quick coloring mainly using uh, two shades of the same color instead of three. And now I'm using the matching dye to cut her out. Now I didn't even bother to color her legs. These are going to be tucked inside the window and you won't be able to see them. I'm running the image through my Spellbinders die cutting machine and I have a lovely focal point for my card. And now it's time to put my card together. So I used two dies, two circle dies, one inside the other to create a little uh, ring out of red cardstock. And I do have some uh, green cardstock which is going to go at the back of my window. And now my girl is going to go inside that window. Now just to make sure that she is going to be nicely tucked in, I just chopped off her legs. And now she fits nicely in there. Before I stick her down, I'm going to stick down the ring. For that, I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back. And then I'm going to stick it there. This is going to define the window better and it's going to give it a finished look. And then I placed the little girl inside the window by using some foam tape at the back that gives her some dimension. Now I cut out the word joy and I cut it out two times out of white cardstock and another time out of... Um, gold cardstock and I'm stacking all the letters one on top of the other. This way I end up having quite of a chipboard look for all the letters. I have a piece of white string here and I'm using glue dots at the back of her hands and the idea for her for this card came once I saw that she has her hands raised up so I thought that I could create a banner for her. And although I do have glue dots at the back of her hands, I'm going to secure the string down even more by applying a line of uh, white glue just underneath. And if you have any tiny alphabet die set, then you can cut out uh, other words such as peace for example or Mary and just stick them across the line. I'm using tiny little foam squares that I cut out with my scissors at the back of the letters to give them some uh, pop. And I'm going to call this card done. And here is a close-up look where you can see all the shine on this card. Everything I used is linked down below just like always. I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you all next time with an art journal.